I'm going to discuss P and K today. And it's one of those things that kind of drives me nuts at times when people write P and K for fertilizer, but fertilizer is P205 and K2O. Now, the numbers on the fertilizer bag, you know, there's three numbers. The first number on the left is percent nitrogen. The second number is percent P2O5. And the third is percent K2O. Now, when you write NPK, those numbers that mean have a different meaning than NP2O5 and K2O. So, in, in fact, you take P times 2.29 or 2.3, and you get P2O5. So if you say, I put 10 pounds of P on, did you put 10 pounds of P on, which is actually 23 pounds of P205, or did you put on 10 pounds of P205? You need to know what you're talking about. And so please use the units that the fertilizer is made in, which is, and it's, it's international, P205 and K2O. So potassium, you say K, well, is that, 10 pounds of K, or is it 10 pounds of K2O? If it's K, you have to take that times 1.2 to get K2O. So it'd be 12 pounds instead of 10 pounds. So to be really accurate in your conversation of how much NPK you put on, you should talk about NP205 and K2O so everybody understands exactly what your, what your, your numbers are. Because if you read a scientific journal, they're required to report everything as P and K, not P205 and K2O. So if you're reading a scientific journal and they say 10 pounds of P, that's what it is. But they don't say pounds of P, they say kilograms per hectare. But so understand that part also. But it's just one of those little things that the fertilizer industry uh, had set up because the, when, the, when the chemists discovered elements, they thought all elements existed in oxide form. Well, in the, in the fertilizer company started, everything was reported in oxide form, and, and nitrogen is reported as NH3, which is ammonia. Well, when they made uh, uh, anhydrous ammonia in 1915, then that made that 100% right away, and so they changed it to percent N. But in the, in the early 60s, the scientific community tried to get the fertilizer companies to go to P and K, and one of the common fertilizers at that time was 0460, which was a, was a monocalcium phosphate fertilizer. And uh, so the company changed it from a 0460 to 020, and the farmers wouldn't buy it because it wasn't near as high as it was before. And instead of trying to educate the farmers, so it, what the difference is in the chemistry, they decided to, well, just stay with P205 and K2O. And so that's where we are today. But it drives me nuts when people write NPK when they're talking about P205 and K2O. Just kind of remember that. Thank you.